Hello everybody, in this video I'm going to be showing you how to get every single unusual gem and what to do with them after you're done collecting them all. So sit back, relax, and watch this extremely long tutorial. For the first unusual gem, head to Solitude. You're going to have to buy the Proud Side Manor for 25,000 gold before you can get this gem. The gem will be in the top floor in the master bedroom on this table. I've already gotten it so it's not there. Your second gem is also going to be in Solitude, in the Blue Palace. Once inside, don't ask the queen to give you a rim job. Just go into the master bedroom, and on the side table next to the bed, you'll find the unusual gem. For the third gem, go to the dainty slode. Just make your way through the boat until you get to the captain's quarters. The unusual gem will be on his desk. For the next gem, go to the College of Winterhold. You're going to have to be at least this far along in the College of Winterhold quest line to gain access to this room. But once you have access, just follow the exact path I take. The gem will be right here on this shelf. For the fourth gem, go to this place that I will not try to pronounce. There's gonna be a bunch of motherfucking death lords for you to fight, so good fucking luck. But once you finally do make it through them all, go into this door. You'll come across these fucktards arguing about who is the kinkiest during sex. Just take them both out. Then just enter this door and take out Sleeping Fugly. And then, there's your gem. For your fifth gem, you're gonna have to go to Hobbs Fall Cave, which is almost as annoying as when you're taking a shit and a polar bear jumps in and starts jacking off. You'll finally get to this place. Don't enter the room ahead. Just take a left and follow the exact path I go. And there's your damn gym. For the sixth gym, go to Markoth and enter the treasury house. Then just go up these stairs and try to follow the exact path I go. And there's your gym. The seventh gym is in the Understone Keep in Markoth. Just go in and take a ride up to the Dwarmere Museum. Then open this golden gate, which unfortunately doesn't lead to tits, drugs, and alcohol. And right here you'll find the gym. For the eighth gym, go to Dead Boner Rock. I explored this place a long ass time ago, so I have no clue how hard it is, so good luck. Then you'll come across this table, with the remains of a very violent goat orgy on top of it. There, you'll find your gem. The next gem will be found in the Companions Guild, in Whiterun. Just follow the exact path I take, until you get to this guy's sex chamber. On this shelf, you'll find the unusual gem. For the next gem, you're gonna have to go to Dragon's Reach, inside of Whiterun. Just follow the exact path I take. Then enter this door, and keep following the path I take. Then you come across this bedroom with the unusual gem inside. The next gem is in Ranveig's Fast. Just make your way through this place until you come across this vagina in the ground, and then fall inside. Right here on this table by the meth lab, there will be an unusual gem. The next gem is in Felglow Keep. Just make your way upstairs into this room. The gem is somewhere in here. For the next gem, go to Windhelm and follow the exact path I take. Come in. Um, yeah, that's not the prostitute here for, uh... Bloody duckers. Damn, you ugly. Get out of here. You'll finally get to this place. Just go inside. Once inside, just go upstairs and go in the first room on the left. There, you'll find the gym. The next gym is in the Palace of Kings inside of Windhelm. Just go in the first door on the left and then follow the exact path I take. The gym will be right here on this table. For the next gym, go to Stony Creek Cave. Just make your way through the cave until you get to this guy. Take him out, and on this table, there will be an unusual gym. For the next gym, go to Anselvind. You're gonna have to make your way through this extremely hard dungeon, but eventually you'll get to this guy. Just take him out real quick. And then on this table, there'll be an unusual gym. The next gym is at Sunderstone Gorge, southwest of Whiterun. After you made your way through this cave, you'll get to this table in front of a word wall. There you'll find your gym. The next gym is at the Dark Brotherhood Sanctuary. You're gonna have to do the Dark Brotherhood quest to get access to this place. And once you do get access, I have no clue where the gym is because I was too busy looking at tig old biddies on the internet. For the next gym, go to Pimwatch, northeast of Falkreath. Then go downstairs and push this button. And no, it will not release a stampede of hot women lathered in baby oil. Then make your way through this place until you get to the Pimwatch Bandit Sanctuary. You'll finally come across this wooden door. Just break in and there's your unusual gym. For the next gym, go to Riften, and then enter the Mitzville Keep. Make your way into the Jarl's Chambers, and then enter the first wooden door. The unusual gym is by the bed on a nightstand. Now go to this place east of Riften. Go inside and into the first bedroom on the left. On this nightstand, you'll find the unusual gym. For the next gym, go to the Thalmor Embassy. You're supposed to get this gym through the main storyline, but if you missed it, then there's no way of going back, except for this way. Just follow the exact path I'm taking. You'll finally make it to this cave. Just go inside. You're gonna need all three words for Whirlwind Sprint. If you have all three, then put it on. 
then get on the tip of this log, and try not to think of how gay that sounds. Then use your shout and get up on this ledge. Remember, you need all three words for this shout for this to work. Once up here, go on this ladder. The gym will be inside this room on this table. Now, go to Riften, and this is very important. Do this before you get your final gym or everything is screwed over. Just follow the exact path I'm taking. And before you do this, you're gonna have to be part of the Thieves Guild, which involves beating the shit out of some lowlifes. And then you'll become a member. Welcome to the family, lad. I'm expecting you to make us a lot of coin. So don't disappoint me. Then find Vex, and ask her about the gems, not sex. She'll give you a quest to collect all the gems. So to get the final gem, head to Whiterun and follow the exact path I take. Enter the Hall of the Dead, where there's definitely no sex. Then go into the catacombs, where there's still no sex. Then go downstairs and in this tomb by the skeleton, you'll find the gem, and another skeleton. Then head back to Vex, and she'll be completely flabbergasted that you actually found the gems, but she still won't fuck you. Then she's gonna give you another quest. And I'm not gonna jizz coat this, but the quest sucks. But once you finally complete it and you get this damn crown, head back to Vex. And now you're done. And for some reason, she still won't jabang. Well guys, I hope this video helped. It took me a very long time to make, and I kind of like to ask a favor of you guys. Uh, I really appreciate it if you could donate, possibly if you have any money. If you don't, it's fine. But I spent a long time in these videos, and I'm, I'm really needing some money right now, so i got to pay off some uh, prostitutes and some drug dealers. So uh, just click that PayPal link right there, and uh, you can donate if you want to. Also, there's links to uh, a few of my other videos if you want to watch them if you haven't seen them before. And also, please comment, rate, and subscribe. It really supports me and motivates me to make more videos. Thank you. Bye. Look at my horse. My horse is amazing. Give it a lick. It's just like raisins. Have a stroke of its mane. It